Hello, this is MRTI Radio. I'm your host, Rob, and these are the Charm of Finches. Another cold day where I blend into the gray. We are both cold and empty. Cold air, cold feet, throw me into the deep, throw me into a deep sleep. I had a dream, snow is all I could see. A woman took me way up to the mountains. She wanted to show me just how far I could go before my lungs were at risk of exploding. She tried to ease my mind. You'll never know unless you try. She took my hand and said, let's fly. And we'll lift up over a canyon and we'll, and we'll drift up, fly through the fog. And we'll lift up over a canyon and we'll, and we'll drift up, not knowing if we'll cross. Another bad night waking me up with a fright. I was alone in the desert. Lying flat on the ground, creatures crawled from my mouth and flew into the distance. A galloped in a tree told me to climb up and see something she had discovered. When I got to the top, she said we had to jump off and count it down from 100. She tried to ease my mind, we'll never know unless we try. She took my hand and said, let's fly, and we'll lift up over a canyon and we'll, and we'll drift up, fly through the fog, and we'll lift up. It's MRTI Radio, that is Charm of Finches with their single canyon. It's Rob here, and we are joined on the line by Mabel and Ivy, who are the Charm of Finches. Uh, welcome to the show. Hello. Hello, Rob. Thanks for having us. We, we finally got together. Uh, my, yeah. my mistake, uh, I, I, did, I didn't know you were in Canada. I thought you were still in Australia, <laughs> so there lies my confusion and, and why I couldn't place that call. So, no worries. You're, you're freshly in, landed. <laughs> you're in North Sydney now. Yeah. How do you yeah, like How do you like uh, Cape Breton? Oh, beautiful. We just went through the highlands. Um, nice. And, yeah, it was incredible. It was quite rainy, but we went mm-hmm. on a little walk and saw a waterfall. Mm-hmm. And a moose. We saw we a moose. Did. did you really? Ran, you saw a moose. It was on the road in front of us and luckily a fair way ahead, so we had time to slow down. Wow. Uh, we have seen one moose in our life. Well, now two moose in our lifetime. Time was when we were in Norway last year. A, a moose sighting, that's about as Canadian as you can get. You don't have moose in Australia, I take it, right? No, no, <laughs> just kangaroos and too many of them. Yeah, we don't get many of those over here. And, and again, well, welcome to the Maritimes. You say uh, you're about to hop a ferry to go over to Newfoundland. Yeah, we're oh. heading to um, a conference, Contact East. Nice. You're yeah. so you're so lucky to go to Newfoundland. I'm a maritimer, and I've never been to Newfoundland. Really? So, yeah, wow. I, I hear nothing but amazing things. Let's, 
Let's talk about the music a little bit. You guys uh been at this a while, right? Yeah. Like I think I was reading somewhere you started at 11 and 14, respectively. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> we started <laughs> off pretty young. We've uh, just finished recording our fourth album now, which will be released next year. But, um, yeah, we've been gigging ever since then, basically, around Australia. And last year we did our first international touring and... This is our first time touring in Canada, which is super exciting. Do you still uh, dig some stuff out from back in your earliest of early days of uh, Charm of Finches, or, or is that Ooh. stuff, is that like well, going, going back a little too far now at this point? Yeah, it might be a little too far. <laughs> <laughs> we do sometimes play songs from our 2019 album. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah. How old are you uh, ladies now? In our 20s. Uh, and and you're described as uh, baroque folk or uh, chamber folk. I've I've heard both of those attached to uh, the sound of of the band Charm of Finches. Perhaps explain to anybody who hasn't seen you guys uh, exactly what that might mean. I hear a lot of a lot of reverb in, in your vocals, and I really <laughs> think it's got a really cool kind of haunting quality to it. Yeah, well, our music's kind of all about the harmonies, the sibling yes. harmonies. We are sisters, and Harmonies and songwriting, I play guitar, Ivy plays keyboard um, and a bit of violin. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, if, if you're a fan of harmonies, this might be the sort of music for you. Well, maybe you can clarify this for me, because I've always thought the best harmonies come from siblings. <laughs> well, we can't uh, you say. Ob you obviously think <laughs> that, but, uh, but, but I think there is something to it there, you know? I yeah. mean, uh, and, and it makes sense. Yeah. And, and I think that goes back to like the Everly Brothers back in the 50s. Those those harmonies can only come from blood. It seems like they're so they're, they're so tightly wound, and and you guys are, are are very similar in that fashion. Yeah, I guess it's quite easy to sing with each other because our voices are sort of similar in that right. sort of way. We've sung ever since we were very young, so uh -huh. we've just had had a lot of practice singing with each other since. Uh, the bathtub days. <laughs> <laughs> the familiarity that you would have with each other, you would you would kind of instinctually pick up on things from each other when you're performing together, right? You, you probably know when things are coming just by being so used to performing together. Almost like, <laughs> almost like taking well, cues. Maybe, yeah. Sometimes they do. It does surprise me, the things that, that come in instinct. Actually, <laughs> yeah. There's been, you know, the gig where we're a little bit sleepy and we'll both switch to the opposite harmony at the same time and mm -hmm. not even realize that that happened. You guys have a, a bit of a, a tie to Canada a little bit in terms of at least the production of, of your, your last release, was it not, uh, done by... Uh... Uh, album that's out, our 2019, no, 2020, 2020. 2022 <laughs> album, I yes. think. Um, that one we recorded with Daniel Ledwell, who lives yes. uh, just outside of Halifax, Nova Scotia. Um, and we did this one online, so we were um, recording it back in Australia, in Melbourne, uh, in one of our bedrooms. Mm -hmm. And then we'd send him the files, and so we were sending things back and forth with him and then made this album in about six months, and it's, it's out. Um, and then mm -hmm. recently, um, just at the start of this year, actually, we went to... Uh, to his studio nice. for a whole month in February, mm -hmm. which was bloody freezing. <laughs> yeah, it would have been, right? <laughs> I've never felt anything like that before. <laughs> Seriously, yeah. Well, I suppose not. It's uh, it's a big difference from yeah. from from down under. Um, yeah. And you met Jen, I'm, I'm assuming, at the same time, probably yeah. Jen Grant? Yeah, Jen yeah. Grant. We're actually going to be uh, opening for her for a couple of nights. Um, on her album tour, which is oh. very exciting. We're big fans of her music. Mm. I got to ask about the name Charm of Finches. Where, where's that coming from? Like, uh, is is like when you think of is that what you call a bunch of finches? Like, like a, as in a murder of crows? Or yeah, exactly. Is, is that right? right? You've got it. <laughs> a Charm of um, Finches. Yeah. So it is the collective noun for a a group of finches, and we we came to that name when we we wrote down a list of all the different uh, collective nouns mm -hmm. that we we could find. And then uh, we thought Crash of Rhinos wasn't really quite <laughs> our music. It <laughs> doesn't, doesn't quite suit your sound, I don't think. Yeah. No. Oh, fair enough. So, yeah, we, we decided on uh, Charm of Finches. 
So tell me, how do you like being on the road? Like, uh, like you guys have grown up. You guys have spent your entire life together, but now, you, now you're in a, a profession where, uh, again, you're extending that belong like into your adult years. You're 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 together so much. Mm-hmm. Does that get like you can be honest now? Does that get to be a little hard on the? <laughs> does that get to be a little hard on the head sometimes? Oh yeah, <laughs> we do <laughs> get a lot of each other. Uh, we we also live together um, back home in Australia, so it's. We're kind of used to it, but I think sure. on the road it's a lot more intense. You're mm-hmm. really with each other twenty four seven, sharing a bed. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yes, yeah, so we do. We do. You know, have to have our little time out from each other at times. But it is also lots of fun, and we both feel very lucky to be able to travel and see these amazing places, like um, you know all these places we're going in Canada, which are just so beautiful, um, and be able to be playing music and along the way. Uh, we're <laughs> going to take a, a quick break and uh, try out another track by the band, Gravity. Care to set that one up for us? It's kind of a neat, again, like a hypnotic kind of trancey kind of song. Yeah, well, this one, um, it's kind of it's about lots of things, but we were sort of ref- reflecting on uh, what some people might call toxic positivity, where... Um, you know, sometimes we can be very hopeful of things and to the point where it's a little bit um, unhealthy and unrealistic. Um, yeah. And so I guess it's a sad song in that way. Yeah. Um, and we reflected on different experiences we had. We just went case. through two years of uh, of getting our hopes up uh, yeah. with the pandemic. It was just a lot of that, uh, get your hopes up, a lot of disappointment bringing you back down. You know, it just totally. Like, a yo-yo effect there for a couple of years. So, uh, how was yeah. that for uh, for you guys? Uh, w- was that just a time where you just uh, took time off from uh, from being in the group, or or did you just settle down, nose to the grindstone, just get to work when when the pandemic is over, just kind of resurface and stuff like mm. that? Is that how yeah, it was? Well, well, that was actually the time when we decided to record our album with mm-hmm. Dan online. So we had it. Yeah, that was a pretty massive project for us during that time, um, and it was great to keep doing music and yeah, being productive. It really got us through, I think, because the the lockdowns are pretty pretty crazy in Melbourne mm-hmm. for sure. <laughs> we also did lots of collaborating with artists um, from around the world with a project called Global Music Match, and um, Dave Gunning, who's actually from oh, Nova yeah. Scotia. Yeah. Um, we did some collaborating with him on, uh, online. So we'll, we'll talk about yeah. that right after the song. How's that sound? Mm-hmm. Sounds good. <laughs> we talked on the phone. It's as it's always been. Say you want to see me on my birthday and I'm teary again. You want to take a road trip in an electric van When you're not studying, will I be far away then? Oh, it sounds like fun, oh, it sounds like fun Pity it came undone because it sounds like fun. I say I'm fragile today, can't cope with social events. Seem to get so upset about the littlest thing. So overcome by it all, this sense of space and time I know I didn't reply, but you were on my mind Oh, what a shame it all didn't go to plan We had wild dreams of a future and we thought we'd pray to anyone that might hear And if we crossed our fingers it might just appear And we'd wake up one bright day and see We'd had our wishes granted More than three How didn't we see we couldn't withstand gravity We all believed in a 
dream where she was alive and well No one told us she was falling down and one day she fell future and we thought we prayed to anyone that might hear and if we crossed our fingers it might just appear and we wake up one bright day and see we'd had our wishes granted more than three how didn't we see we couldn't withstand gravity like a nightmare they said it would be over at the end of the night it was just If we said it enough, we could join all the stars in a line With enough hope, it would all be alright oh, What a shame it all didn't go to plan We had wild dreams of a future and we thought we'd pray To anyone that might hear And if we crossed our fingers, it might just appear And we'd wake up one bright day and see we Wishes granted more than three. How didn't we see we couldn't withstand gravity? More than three. How didn't we see we couldn't withstand gravity? That was Gravity from Charm of Finches. Uh, we are back with uh, Mabel and Ivy, who are Charm of Finches. Coming to Fredericton October 4th, and uh, after that, it's Ottawa, correct, ladies? Yes, All that's right. correct, on the 6th of October. The Uptown at Night series here in Fredericton. Uh, is this your first time playing Fredericton? You're, you're no stranger to the Maritimes. Is this your first time here? It sure is, Ooh, yeah. We're looking forward Very to that. excited. Very cool. Now, you were uh, talking before the break about Dave Gunning. Uh, tell me about working. He, he's such a great songwriter and such a great guy and a fantastic storyteller as well. He's got a lot of charm on the stage. Uh, what did you take from uh, working with uh, Dave? Yeah, well, we were doing a project called Global Music Match where basically we were paired with artists around the world um, to sort of share each other's music to each other's audiences and do little musical collaborative videos um, put together, um, recorded in our separate homes on each end of the world and then put together online and shared. So um, we were in a group with Dave Gunning and uh, a group from Norway, a group from Finland, uh, where else? England. Yeah. And we we made a we actually made a cover video of one of Dave's songs, and These Hands. These Hands, yeah, yeah that's yeah. probably his best known song. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. we all put little bits and pieces onto it, and um, yeah, it's a it's an awesome video, and it's up on YouTube. Um, on our YouTube channel, uh, we have uh, there's like a playlist, a Global Music Match playlist. So if you want to go digging for that, it is there. <laughs> that's fantastic. Uh, Charm of Finch is, again, October 4th, the Uptown at Night series at the Fredericton Inn, a nice little cozy, intimate venue. Uh, I, I think that's the kind of venue I can imagine you guys probably prefer, like these nice little cozy, yeah. little, little listening tiny venues rooms. Li- listening favorite. rooms, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, for sure. Well, that's what you're going to get when you come to Fredericton. So. <laughs> Amazing. Can't wait. Charm of Finches, thank you very much for your time. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Uh, thank you. Thanks for having us.